Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Here we want to tell you and we want to show you about our presentation. That the title is Four Facts of Animal That You Should Know. Here we have four members there. My name is Anissa Aulia. I am Edo Kilang Pratama. And my name is Nur Sofia Niatul Khair. And the last is Robi Atul Abdul Karima. Okay, hopefully you enjoy it and check it out. The first fact is the other side of malaria. Mosquitoes can help the plant to pollinate. In the wake of a rapidly expanding Zika virus epidemic, many have talked of declaring war on the insect responsible for transmitting many of the world's worst diseases. But what would happen to the environment if proof all the mosquitoes simply disappeared? The short answer is no one's known. There's questions to the each of the 3050 plus mosquito species has its own role to play in nature. There are two notable diabetic mosquitoes include Aedes aegyptepsi and Aedes albopictus. The species most implicated in the recent cases of Zika virus. For other species, removing mosquitoes entirely could have consequences. We can spread it, says Anne Fuskaus, a public affairs specialist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The next is there are uh, many benefits of mosquitoes. First, male mosquitoes for intense at nectar making some species major pollinators of plants such as some crops and flowers even orchids second similarly mosquitoes all of all age and sex serve as a food source for all kinds of creatures the mosquitoes are the primary factors of malaria so if they disappear Malaria certainly will too. According to the World Health Organization, about more than 5,000 people died from malaria in 2015. Similarly, the mosquito species most responsible for the recent outbreak of Zika virus are also the primary carriers of dengue virus and yellow fever. And human aren't the only ones led low by mosquito spawn disease. Whether or not the total eradication of mosquitoes is even possible, it probably isn't. There's still so much we don't understand about the biologists. Wilson was called the little things that run the world. The second fact is how to well communicate to their babies. Well, whale is the large species of aquatic mammals. Whale are some of the biggest animals on earth, and when they call to each other, their songs can travel through the ocean for thousands of miles. Whales are one of the most endangered species of whales because they are only about 4,000 left in the world. They are bells whales, which means they are filter feeders, so they swim really slowly through the water with their mouths open. Researcher, research were able to get text on 60 whales to do the comparison. Most white whales that are killed now are accidentally killed by human activities. and. Recorded that two years ago, there were no calf born for the entire species. Because of the restricted of fishing underwater, whales use sound to perceive and interpret their environment and to communicate, sometimes over face distance. And the whales, they are not the most beautiful of whales. We can tell them apart because they have individually distinct patterns growing on their head 
of finger like material and they scrolls are covered with wheels lies that are light in color and so they sort of make that pattern on their head sound up because the wheel is very large about the research stick on the text on the wheels the juve juvena juveniles and the pregnant females met a lot more of this slower long distance communication calls but the mother calf bears it was completely if inverted and then 90% of their sounds were this very quiet almost whisper like song and only 10% of the sound they made were they slow their calls and why would they do that right whales when they are adults really don't have any natural predators but the only time they are really fun vulnerable is when they are first born. The only way they can hide from predators is to reduce their sound production. So right whales, when they are adults, really don't have any natural predators. They, the only time they are really vulnerable is when they are first born. So in the few months of life, a young calf right whale is vulnerable to predation from killer whales and sharks. The only way they can hide from predators is to redu reduce their sound production. And the third fact is the most common animal that bites humans. Animal that the most happens bite human are four. There are from snakes, dogs, cats, and monkeys. And this uh, this news I got from article and the journal from researchers that research some cases in the world. And from the bites of a uh, animal can make some rabies infection to their victims and the most risk of this rabies can make a victim die and we can to prevent this uh, infection from the start and I want to tell you how the prevention and the treatment to prevent the bites of this this uh, the pets of this animal and for the treatment we can give the early medical management to the victims that pet that the pet animal uh, the first we can uh, take the victim to the safe area from their animal and we can wound cleansing because uh, the wound is the open cage of the infection to infect infected the humans. And the next, we can give the primary closure to the victim that have the low risk infection. And we can also give the prophylactic antibiotics to the victims or patients that have high risk infection. And also, if the rabies post treatment for uh, animal that have not uh, previous test or vaccine before and also give the tetanus vaccine to the patient that have not the tetanus vaccine before and for the prevention we can give the education and information about health care providers that uh, that locate nearly to the location and to the citizens and also give the prevention technique and from this for uh, especially from to the snack we can't afford and we can prevent the area that have a uh, tall grass because the tall grass is uh, the habitat the origin habitat of the snake 
and also give the answer radius control to the cat and dogs on your surrounding and also mock monkeys the fourth fact in is the unique ways of animal to store their food on their body okay let's hmm. adapt many species have evolved ways to talk their own nourishment and adapt adaptation in to the environmentals like uh, the animal can store the food in their bodies like that and then uh, the first creatures and this is a black swallower the black swallower is a deep sea fish that takes on much bigger prey and then laughs, laughs around its digesting meal in a stomach that hangs below a bit like a grocery bag and then you will see the fish now you can see the fish in their stomach has bigger than their bodies because they add the bigger Pray. so the stomach is bigger than the body you can see in there uh, the fish is very scary but yeah it's very scary okay and the next creatures there is a chipmunk chipmunk can carry nuts or seeds that have been collected in their mouths so chipmunk before they bury the nuts or the seeds that they have collected, they will store at the mouth. And the next slide, you will see the chipmunk. Okay, nice. This is the chipmunk, the picture of chipmunk. In there, they eat what? They eat uh, nuts, maybe. Uh, they eat the nuts before they bury them to the land and the chipmunk and next and the next it is a honeypot ants honeypot ants live in a right climates around the world including Australia Southern Africa and Mexico. During drought and the dry season, some of these ants support their colony by growing their own honey pots. So this ant, <coughs> this ant is it like nectar, and they store at their back, the yeah, in the back parties. So you can see in this picture, uh. The end, the big party of the end is bigger than the front party. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, the the ants eat much nectar, and then they they usually give to their friends at the nest. So. So they give other ants maybe other ants they give the nectar from their bodies it's good and the last creatures is pelicans like that kid who eat all the candy before getting home pelicans don't store fish in their hook bill pouch but swallow them pretty quickly uh, their pouch are mostly full of water uh, which they tilt their head back and allow to drain before swallowing their food so the pelican is the pelican prey is fish now uh, you will see in there there is uh, pelican pictures they eat fish at the lake seas and like this yeah whatever uh, they uh, the pelican eats by a group yeah so they eat together with the, uh, the other pelicans 
Okay, I think that is all my presentation. Hi. And whales are one of most endangered species of whales because in this earth, whale is very. Whales are one of most endangered species of whales because they are only about. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. First, from the treatment to the victims, uh, we can give the early medical management from. Uh, <laughs>